What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex and this is That's the Cheese Gaming. A quick intro before I begin today's video. I've been a lifelong gamer, pretty much, well, yeah, all my life. And I recently really got into collecting for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo 64, and Xbox 360. I have a couple new game pickup videos if you want to go check those out. But the N64 has always had a special place in my heart. So, from that, I've decided I wanted to share my love for this console and these games. So, that's why I began making these reviews. But, for today, I'll be taking a look at what I consider to be easily one of the top 15 games for the Nintendo 64. It's Wave Race 64. Why do I say it's easily a top 15 game? Well, I'll explain. First off, this game was developed and published by Nintendo and saw a North American release of November 1st, 1996. Wave Race sees you race one of four jet skis at close to 100 miles an hour across the water. In some cases, it's even been referred to as F-Zero on water. Now, going at such speeds would only work if two things occur. First off, tight controls. And thankfully, Nintendo knocked it out of the park with these controls. They're nice, smooth, and responsive. But that's not all. Nintendo even took it a step further to add the element of what you call water physics. While you're racing around on the water, you really feel the element of being on the water as you're trying to make sharp turns, bounce around, and kind of counteract the way that the water wants to push you. The water physics in this game are just absolutely phenomenal. And I firmly believe that what Nintendo did with this game is still being used in some games to this very day, such as Sonic Racing Transformed. For example, one level has you race on a fog-filled lake. That is, you're racing along, it slowly clears out to reveal a beautiful, pristine lake. The very next level... You're fighting waves and getting bounced around on a stormy day with rough seas as a storm just passed through. The level design in this game is just simply beautiful and absolutely phenomenal. Now, with such a great looking game, you really feel like you need some good music and good sound effects to go with it, right? Well, the sound effects for this game are on point. No slouch there by Nintendo. However, the music I won't say it's great, but I won't say it's bad either. It's just on par. There are some far better music soundtracks for this console. The only real negative that I can come up with for Rave Race is first off, you can only pick one of four characters. But thankfully, if you like to, you can customize the controls to fit your own per personal playstyle. And also, this may be a negative or it may just be a non-bow, depending on your personal preferences in games, there's no weapons in this game. Instead, you race in championship, time trial, and two-player around buoys in the water to build up speed. Overall, Wave Race is an absolutely must-own for anyone with a Nintendo 64. This one's for you, Matt. I know you love this game. As always, if you enjoyed this video, Please give me a like, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy tumultuous times, and I'll see you in the next review. And also, if you've watched this review and you've enjoyed it, you'd like to see some more gameplay from Wave Race 64, or see me maybe do some time trials, leave me a comment down below. And finally, if there's a game that you'd like to see me talk about, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see what I can do. As always, stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.